outside the pocket with room to run. Wants to throw and he opens. Oh, yeah, that's it. Intended that's intended target. A, oh, yeah. It was intercepted. That's an interception. Field. That should be an interception. That's money. Eric Collins. A little toe drag swag. Look at this. First foot down. Watch the drag. And oh, Doug yeah, that's it. Has tossed his red flag out to challenge the play. Yeah, he was standing the other way. right there. Yeah, that is going the other way. Thompson overshoots his intended target. Ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Jacksonville has challenged that ruling. Skyler Thompson in the shotgun on first and 10 at the 22 yard line. Turns and slips. Oh, and this one's intercepted. It is picked off by Yasir Abdullah. Nearly two weeks ago. How are you feeling? Back to 100%, ready for week one. What's the prep like as we are 10 ish days away from kickoff? Yeah, we're working. We're working, just trying to um, get this, get the, that low leg injury into to the best possible um, feeling and, and, and function that I can possibly get to uh, by week one. And, and that's definitely the goal to be out there for week one. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. We want to see you out there protecting your quarterback, Tua Tungavailoa. And he spoke about it this offseason. He's taking up jiu-jitsu training to learn how to fall. Does that add any pressure to you guys up front? But then more important than that, has he taught you guys any moves or anything that you guys can now apply to your <laughs> blocking techniques? Uh, I won't say that it's added any pressure. Our number one objective and goal every every snap is to protect the quarterback. You know, we want to keep him as clean as possible. Um, that that's regardless of, of any other circumstances or any other situation. So that's that's objective number one. Uh, Tua hasn't taught me any of those those jiu-jitsu moves, but it has been it's very it's been very impressive to see him be able to apply uh, those techniques so so fast without thinking about it. Okay. Um, but again, you know. Uh, I'll just say, at the end of the day, nobody wants to be a Miami Dolphin more than me. No one wants to work for this organization more than me. Um, that's And that's from Valerie at the front desk to the coaches on the coaching staff to Hubert who cleans up the building. Nobody wants to be a part of this organization more than myself. Um, so that's how I feel. You know, that's, that's what it is. That's where I'm at with everything still. Um, you know, because this is my home. I was drafted here. I love this place, and I put my all on to be the the best player, the best leader, the best teammate, the best Miami Dolphin I can be, and, you know, that, that's not going to change. You know, the organization deserves that, my teammates deserves that, these fans deserve that, everything. So, it's um, like everything, it, like I it just like I just talked about. Um, uh, Chris is a, a friend of mine. Um, we've had conversations, uh, and again, it was a lot of exploratory talks. Um, I can say there were no. Um, exchange of offers from either one of us. It was just general talks. So, you know, a lot of the stuff reported, I can tell you guys, is 95% of it's wrong. Um, so, you know, we, we had some discussions, but it's no different than any player um, that's ever released or, or available that uh, we know about and have discussions with the GM about it. So, um, Chris was very uh, professional as he always is. And um, so, uh, in terms of being close or anything, there was nothing really close. 95% was reported as inaccurate, so I gotta ask you, did the words Jalen Waddle come out of Chris's mouth? <laughs> uh, again, I'm not gonna go into discussions that were <laughs> talked about with stuff, but God, man, you were, uh, you're a dog on this, huh? <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, Jalen Waddle would not be available to anybody, it wouldn't matter who, who they called about. How close did something come happening with just please tell us everything, please. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> well, why don't you just ask Mike's daughter? She